Hello everybody, I'm Nevaeh, and welcome to this new series I'm going to be doing. If you don't remember, I don't think it might have uploaded, but no, I don't think it did. I was doing this thing called Let's Be Creative on the weekends, but no, weekends are awesome. You normally do stuff weekdays. That's the only thing. I will be right back. I have to close my door all the way. Because I'm recording and I have a sign on my door, so we are back. Alrighty, I am back and to, yeah, like I was doing, weekdays are always boring, gotta go to school, work, whatever, and you just can't do as much stuff as you can do on the weekends. I'm still gonna do let, Let's Be Creative weekends, but for weekdays, we're gonna do Awesome Creations weekdays. No, wait. The weekdays creation. So, for the first one, not near Halloween. It's pretty much close to Easter, actually. It's the last day of March. But I guess it's pretty close to April Fool's, so. But we're going to do a ghost. Because I just wanted to do a ghost. It seems really easy. So, let's get on with it, and I'll show you what you need. Okay, so what you're going to need for the project is... Is... Paint. I am using washable kids paint. I've never done this, so I don't know if the paint will work. So, if you have any normal paint, you should probably use that. Paint brushes, molding clay, and wax paper. So, now that you have all your materials, um, what you're going to do is take your molding clay and open it and out. Okay, hurt my finger. Um, so you want to open it. How do you open this? Oh wait, that's stupid. You open it from this way. Of course you do. So, why is it so hard to open? Probably because I got it from a battery protective package. Oh, there we go. Man. Yeah. Oh my god. This is impossible. Oh, wait. 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 <gasps> I did it. I opened it. Yeah. There we go. So you want to put all of your colors aside except for your white. And isn't it beautiful? Okay, then with your white, you kind of want to flatten it out, which is really hard for mine, so it's like really like stuck together, you know what I mean? Like, you can't really flatten it out, but yeah, I'll be right back when I have it all flattened. Now that you have your clay flattened, I'm actually using rose art molding clay which is like impossible to flatten for the white like the other ones are like really really easy to flatten especially the blue the blue is really easy let's see the oranges the red is um the light blue is the blue definitely is if you want to make you can actually make a ghost any color you want Actually, so I guess I'll just make a blue ghost. I mean, come on, white can also be used for the blue. Oh god, that's way easier to flatten. This is where the wax paper comes in. You actually want to flatten it on the wax paper because it's easy to take it off and it won't get stuck on like your desk or something and I really got to tape this down. I'll just use this thing this sticky note because I'm too lazy to go and look for my tape. So all the way down in the club. Oh I'll be rocking in down the club. I random made a random up song. I don't know what I'm saying. Mm, 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 mm. 
There's no party like a PewDiePie party party. There's no party like a PewDiePie party. I don't know. I, PewDiePie's awesome. There's no party like a PewDiePie party. PewDiePie party. PewDiePie party. Yeah, there's no party like a PewDiePie party. PewDiePie party. PewDiePie party. I don't give a what I'm saying. Don't know what I'm saying. Don't know what I'm saying. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm saying. Don't know what I'm saying. Okay, whatever. Now we have your wax paper and I'm holding clay flattened out. What you want to do is you want to make it so it's a long side up. You see the long side up. Hang on a minute. Sorry if this video is really weird. Please, I just want to have an actual video with a lot of views, so I'm not asking too much. Just please watch it and comment and like and subscribe to be magical. I really don't know what's wrong with me, honestly, but okay, let's do this. Um, now you have that. What the heck? This is where the paint brushes come in. So you want to open up the paint, the paint, the painty paint, the painty paint, paint, paint. This is so awesome, I love to open paint. It's been my dream my whole entire life. I'm so flipping stupid, aren't I? I think I ruined it. People help me. I don't know how to open paint. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, I've got a pen. Oh, wait, it's already on. Stab it. Stab it. Well, one little hole ain't gonna do it. Come on. Stab it. Stab it with all your might. Okay, now what you want to do is, ooh, these paintbrushes are nice. Ooh. Mm. Okay, well, when you have a paintbrush, you want to take the back of it. You see the back? Yeah, the back. And you just kind of want to make a little, like, curved outline at the bottom so it looks like a ghost. And I'm not going through it. I'm actually making like little dots right next to each other, so, see, little dots, and then a little curvy shape, and after you have the dots, just carefully outline it with your, the back of your brush, and then this, and then this kind of start at the corner. And make a curve like so. These are just the outline. This isn't the actual ghost. This isn't actually what it's gonna look like. To so see that little curve? Yeah, you want to make it from the corner of your squiggly, and just make a curve around it so it looks like a ghost. And what you want to do is just kind of want to push in with your paintbrush with all the dots. You see what I'm saying? So it's easier to tear it off, and you're not going to actually tear it off. So when you have all that, just, we'll see you there. Now that you have all your dots, you want to, oh god. See how you pick it up, it kind of stretches down. 
Well, you want to gently kind of stretch it down more. And if there's spikes, it's all right. We can fix that. So it's not a big deal when there's spikes. And like I said, I've never done this before, but I know how to fix it. It's actually not hard at all. And then we have the old, all the little outlines out. You should have a spiky oval. <laughs> yeah, a spiky oval. Then you want to put it back down gently and kind of just rub along the lines. So it kind of, oh God, smoothens them out. You see? Like that. I was using the wrong side, but that we can actually use after. So you want to make your curve part of your ghost? Oh, God. So you just want to smooth it in the curved part. And if you want to, you can. if you don't have a paintbrush, I mean, you kind of need the paintbrush, but through this part, you don't actually have to use it. You can actually use your fingers, which may actually be way easier. And then you just kind of want to push it in a little bit, actually. And then when you have that, kind of smooth it with your paintbrush. And then smooth it with your finger. So then you should have this. Spiky bottom. And with that, you just kind of want to do the same thing, except this one you just want to do little curves. And carefully, because if you're using the same clay I am, molding clay, Probably gonna be a little hard for you, pal. Oh god. Oh god. This isn't good. This isn't good. I'll be right back. So when you have that and your curved lines, I actually couldn't make the curved lines, so I just like pushed them up with my finger a little bit. You should have this really weird thing. Came out better for you. You're lucky. No, it looks nothing like a ghost, honestly. If you want a messy ghost, this is not a very good guide. I'm sorry. So then you want to take your paintbrush, kind of like stick it in. Not at the bottom, like at the top, the head part. And just kind of roll it around a little bit. So we have something like this. So you have like the eyes. And if you want to add a mouth, you can. You just got to do that. And it's okay if there's a hole in it. It makes it look more spooky. So there's my very creepy, really, honestly weird ghost. Kind of looks like death. So, yeah. I honestly didn't know what we needed the paint for. Actually, I'll be right back. I'm going to test it at work. Okay, it does work. So you want to get your paintbrush and black paint, and you kind of just want to paint in the eyes, I guess. That's what we really, really need to do. And when you have that, you should have, honestly, a not so spooky ghost, guys. It just looks terrible. Honestly, it does. Mine just looks absolutely positively terrible. <gasps> oh, you want to see it? Really? Really and truly, you want to see it? All right. <laughs> Is that good? 
Yeah, well, oh, look at it. Now it's a hat. Okay, that was a fail, but it doesn't look very good, so. Yep. Yeah. Oh, God, video fail. Well, if it worked out for you, you're lucky. Definitely didn't work out for me. I should have stick, stuck with the white, but. There you go. I can make it into a bowl. I don't know. I'm just doing random stuff. Just... Oh, Dun, 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 dun. Thanks for watching. Bye, me.